our education system is inadequate. But simultaneously, I have to accept your argument. We have to cope up with the time. We have to face the global requirement. Today, we have to create global citizens. And India's philosophical responsibility, eternal responsibility is about the entire world. In our DNA, Vasudeva Kutumbakam is our philosophy. We have to take responsibility of ourselves. We have to take responsibility of our entire global community. First precondition is how are you creating innovative thinkers in your younger generation? This is the education is the answer. Yes, see. When Britishers were ruling us few centuries ago, Macaulay developed a model. The primary motto of that model was to rule India forever, for a longer period, to extract economic interest in a bigger way. They created a kind of education system. After independence, we changed our approach. Lot of things have been changed. There is a national education policy envisioned by this government, by Prime Minister Modi, implemented from 2020. What is the basic philosophy of this uh, concept, this policy? We have to decolonize our education system. Education is the basic philosophy of a society. We have to be rooted. We have to be modern. We have to be forward-looking. We have to be scientific. How do you do that? Today, the kind of path we have pursued, though we produce a lot of global standard experts in all the fields, in the science, in the technology, in the economic front, in the social sector, in the literature, we produce global quality manpower. But is it adequate? I have to accept in this, uh, at the occasion of 75th year of independence, it's not adequate. That's for now when we're entering into the Amrut Kal. In the, our target is uh, 2047, 100 years of independence. How do we prepare ourselves? Education is the primary area. Now, recently, I'm just, uh, I'm coming from Australia. I'm quoting my good friend, Australian education minister's uh, view. He said, Mr. Pradhan, what is Australia today? It was not 50 years ago. Today, it is a developed economy. It's only one of the primary strategies we give emphasis on education. Australia is a small country. It's a country of uh, 25 million population. Do you know how much young population we have? If I quantify the age 15 to 25, our number is 250 million. Sure. 120 million people are coming to institution. 140 million, 130 million people are not coming to institution. We have an ambition to become $5 trillion economy. We have an ambition to produce more global citizens. We have to appropriate our education system. We have to appropriate our skilling ecosystem, vocational education. We, this aspirational society has to cope up with the need of the global expectation. And this national education policy has envisioned all such things, solid rootedness with a futuristic ambition. So you